What's up y'all, it's Wednesday morning about 11 o'clock and I'm headed out here to see what's going on with the ammo today. I hadn't been out here since last week when I made my video, so hopefully they've had a little time, maybe they've restocked a few things. So let's run on up here to the Rural King first and see what's happening. All right y'all, in the Rural King here, looks like they still got some of that 308 Arms Corps left for $13.99, so I'll probably get a couple of those. They've also got some more new Arms Corps here, 357 Mag, uh, 158 grain FMJ for 27 bucks a box of 50. 40 looking pretty much the same as far as I can tell. They still got the 2199 Arms Corps, but y'all know we got that lawman at the local shop cheaper than that. Got a little of 65 Creedmoor back in here too. This Aguila uh 140 grain for 23 bucks. And then a little bit more Arms Corps here. They got some more of the good old 22 LR Arms Corps for 399. Still got a pretty good decent pile of that Stinger down there too for 899. But other than that, it looks about the same. So a couple more little Arms Corps scores. All right, y'all, we made it out to Rural King again and got lucky in there and got a couple more little Arms Corps deals like we did last week. The Arms Corps stuff seems to be about the only deal in there worth really bothering with lately. But anyway, let's head up here to my local shop right quick and see what they got going on today. All right, in the local shop, y'all, I'm gonna go over a few different things I've been asked about. Well, somebody asked me about the 460 here. Now, actually, I think they actually don't even have 460 right now since the last time I was in here. So I don't have to worry about that. This is that 10 mil Swift A-frame. That stuff's really expensive. I don't know if I'm gonna try that or not. I don't know if I see anything else new just yet. 357 here, several different types. I really need to write down what I have and what I kind of need for testing because I, I just keep lose track of everything I don't I don't have. I just thought of one thing I do want to pick up. These bonded, uh, Underwood bonded JHPs that are loaded with the gold dots. Apparently Underwood's no longer loading gold dots. So I'm gonna grab some of these uh they've got the plus p plus 124 and the plus p plus 147 for 16.99 18.99 so you can't really beat that still got piles of powder in here a little bit of primer is basically just small rifle and small rifle magnum 223 fusion here 29.99 on the 62 grain i think somebody asked me about that bunch of different 300 350 got some big old fat packs of 65 creed more down here 60 rounds for 78 bucks so not bad on that got some winchester 303 british in here 180 grain for 60 bucks i hadn't seen 303 british in quite a while tons of different shot shells lots of 20 and 12 unfortunately the only 410 they have still which is about like everywhere is this winchester super x triple all but it's expensive 11.99 a box on that 10 20 12 so like always a little bit of everything in here all right y'all we made it back to the house again another pretty light week as far as pickup so before i jump into it if y'all would if you enjoy these videos reach down and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so you can hopefully get notified when i upload new stuff one thing i did want to mention right quick before i show y'all what i got is olight's having a flash sale right now they've been having a flash sale the last couple few days i believe this might be the last day for it so i just wanted to mention that if y'all want to pick something up they've having some pretty good discounts right now They've got a few new items like they always do. They've got this angle grip light this time in the gunmetal gray, the Sigurd light like there. That's pretty neat. Uh, they also carry knives and a, a lot of other different stuff. I didn't really realize what all kind of other stuff they carried. They actually sent me one of these knives out to check out. I don't know a whole lot about knives, but this seems like a pretty decent little knife here. Uh, aluminum. It's a really sharp, really nice knife there. Um, nice finish on it. Like I say, aluminum texture finish there. Um, from what I understand, they're made by a company called Kaiser and just rebranded if that means anything like i say i don't know much about knives but this one right here seems pretty slick so anyway i just wanted to mention it. like i say they're having a flash sale some pretty good discounts going right now so i'll leave an affiliate link down below in the description if y'all are interested in checking that stuff out all right let me show y'all what i did end up picking up this week so as you can probably already tell it was another arms core week this week they seem to be about the best deal going right now pretty much in every caliber uh, other than just a few little exceptions but as you can see the first thing i grabbed was a few more boxes of this 308 the 147 grain fmj again nothing special to it y'all seen this stuff before i picked some up last week as a matter of fact but this is 13.99 for a 20 round box of brass case 308 so right now that's very hard to beat so i got a few more boxes of that and then like i say it was another arms core week so i got a box of this 357 mag that was in there it's just 158 grain fmj also nothing special to it now only got one box of this because this is 26.99 which is a pretty 
pretty good deal and probably a really good deal in most of y'all's areas. But y'all know right now, my local shop, they've got the uh, soft point PMC bronze stuff for a couple bucks cheaper than this. So I just got one box of this mainly because I didn't have any of this at all. So like I said, on that stuff, it was $26.99. And then the last thing from the RK this week was a couple boxes of this Ogula 6.5 Creedmoor, uh, the 140 grain FMJ. Again, nothing special here, just regular old FMJ. But for 6.5 Creedmoor, this stuff was $22.99 a box. So $22.99 is pretty decent right now for 6.5 Creedmoor of any kind. So just got a couple boxes of that. And then I did pick up a couple things from my local shop. They were both pretty much the same thing as y'all saw me talking about it in there. It's this Underwood stuff, the 9 mil, 124 grain and 147 grain bonded hollow point. It's the gold dot projectiles is what it is. I'm sure y'all have all seen these. But like I mentioned, um, from what I can understand, the Underwood is no longer loading gold dots. They're going to be using, uh, I believe, berries, hybrids, and XTPs. So I'll probably pick up a box or so of these every time I go in there just until they're gone at least anyway. The pretty good deal on these for 20 rounds of Underwood plus P plus 9, $16.99 and $18.99. So that's really hard to beat for some really good 9 like that. And that was it for the week, y'all. So like I said, another pretty light pickup this week. Everything I did get, though, I feel like was at a really good deal. So y'all let me know what y'all think about the pickups and let me know what kind of scores you might have made in y'all's area. Again, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit all the buttons down below. Take a second if you would and check out my affiliate links in the video description. If you shop through Amazon, hit that storefront link up down there. You'll go straight through Amazon like normal from there and anything you buy after that, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. Same deal on those Axle links. A lot of y'all have taken advantage of those big savings down there. So if you're in the market for some really nice ear pro, hit up those links and you can save a pile of money instead of going straight to their site. Like I said, I'll also leave that Olight affiliate link down there below in case y'all interested in checking that out. As always, I appreciate all my Range Gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel. I've got some really good stuff heading y'all's way, so be on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, stay safe, stay prepared, and I'll see you soon.